call the meeting to order at 6.03. Ramsey has an appointment this evening, so she'll be late, so I'm going to run the meeting. Uh, roll call. Can we just start here, Cindy Tiger? Alterman. John Cloyes. Jason Baxter. Jennifer Miller. Tommy Gaskin. Mary Seven. Susan Carlos. Okay. Public invited to be heard. So I believe that you are a public invited to be heard, right? Yes. The yes. From the museum. Yes. 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 Museum. We're ready to hear. You're here today for Art on the Move yes. voting. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I it's didn't okay. understand the question. <laughs> We're here today for our new voting. Okay. All right. All right. The February 16th minutes. Any corrections? I gave some Angela some corrections earlier, so can I make moments? Yes. Okay. I move that we accept the corrections as amended. Any sense? All in favor? Yes. Do we have any additions or corrections to the March 16th agenda? Yes, so we're moving some things around. Did anybody print it out for you with you? Okay, throw that away. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the new here. Anybody else want a new one? Yes, sir. Here we go. Okay. New one? New one? Uh, can you two share? Yes. In the name of saving the computer. Okay, sweet. Okay, so basically, well, from what we put um, online, we're moving counselors' comments number 14 up to number 6. Everything then subsequently is moving down. And I'm adding to 12C the um, commission application. This is your then everything I just handed out, don't look at that. <laughs> Are you serious? Mine is the old one. It says council updates 13 and it should be six. Okay, just let's look at this one. Because this one is correct. Okay. Great. Okay. All right. All right. All right, other than that, we're good to go. Wait, this is still is Oh, the one I'm looking at even is right. Hold on, hold on. Angela, if you email it to me, I can print it to the downstairs printer. Okay, if you want. Uh, just take me one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody really need a printed one badly? No. As long as we have something to look at that's right. Okay. How about that? All oh, right, now so we're cooking. Yeah, okay. Okay. That's that's right. good. That looks good. Okay, this is right. Okay. So next then is a council update. Do you have anything for Sean? Oh, just letting you know that the council had its uh, uh, retreat this past weekend, and uh, we went through a prioritizing uh, uh, activity to, to figure out where we were as a council in regards to giving direction to Harold. And uh, so uh, that should be, uh, I think, in some sort of PowerPoint somewhere on the city website, if not, uh, you know, make sure that that gets to y'all. Uh, it's, it's just right now there's a real hardship in regards to uh, uh, finding people to fill the spots. And, and in, from a point of view, our, uh, our legal team uh, under Eugene May just lost one of their star uh, lawyers uh, to another community in which they lived in, and so it's really uh, trying trying to balance what uh, what we can do and what we can't do. I don't think there's any issues that uh, that really directly pertain to our public places, other than just if uh, it's the manpower of maybe needing for installations or anything like that. But I think we'd be aware of that ahead of time, and so I uh, just. Heads up. Anybody have any questions? Yeah, 
strong. We'd love to hear from you all. I feel like you get the background of the show on this Yeah. So, thank you. All right, on the 2nd of March, we had the orientation, nuts and bolts, what we do and why we do it. Um, and today, does, who, was, who was able to come to that? All right, good job. Does anybody have any comments? Would you like to say, was, did you think it was helpful? No. Anybody not think it was helpful? Yeah. No. Was there something that should have been there that after you went home and slept on it, you thought, wow, we just got this massive overview of missions and boards and I still have questions. Is there anything that's still in the room? Yes! <laughs> Success! <laughs> All right. I have one suggestion. As yes. Well. Uh, Please. I guess one thing that we didn't go through, but we've gone through at previous meetings are the um, Inspection sheets. So I think it could be nice to go through the inspection sheets and what would be more, what would be helpful, more helpful in our reviews of the system. Excellent. Okay. So the maintenance, yes. maintenance sheets. Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, project update: the Flanders site. We are chugging along on that. Um, the we're working on the irrigation and the concrete pour, and we're completely on schedule to have it have it completed and I don't know the sister cities whatever they they're welcome to them. Yeah so we'll install by the summer it. by the summer. It's all it's all going right on plan. Okay so ninth and Al Alpine Evan is going to give us updates for communications and marketing initiatives and community engagement on that. Sure. Um, so right now we're working on the social media aspect of it. Um, we are going to build the new center about, I guess, engaging with the new community. Could you speak up just a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, in this room, yes. Okay. okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we just sent out an email, or are about to send out an email to the new center um, about like, engaging the youth around that community. And um, kind of, I guess, giving them one to make a specifically uh, to engage the youth. And then we are also working on like, social media posts. Um, I think those will be out before the 20th of April. Okay. Um, and then anybody have any questions? Only one more thing to note about Ninth and Alpine. So Pat does not have designs for us to look at today, which will mean that I will be contacting all of you having another meeting for design review. Um, rather than just doing a task force, I'm just gonna put out a call to everyone. Um, at the very last moment, I think Thursday, April 13th, which is exactly a week before our next meeting, would be the drop dead date for that. So you can anticipate seeing something from me. And my hope is that you will have two directions for us to say based on our January 26th conversation. Yes, this is the direction that we like or of these two directions, we like and prefer one over the other. And then he'll refine and present to us April 29th. So if you really are jazzed about I can now find April the 20th is, is going to be the day. Can I remind you the 18th weekend? Yes, May the 17th through the 21st. I think that that is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think, yes. And in addition, obviously, to painting, it's also going to mean commissioner volunteer shifts, like all the fun stuff. Setting up, air down, handing out paintbrushes, cleaning brushes, I mean, all of the logistics that come with a community paint, you are going to be absolutely um, needed and begged to come and do that work. And also, painting will be involved in that. So, when we put out the community paint schedule, I'll invite you to please share it with the community, but not sign up for those shifts because you yourself, in doing your volunteer shifts, will end up doing the painting, and Evan is going to be pivotal 
in seeing that those um, community paint shifts are filled and that's this engagement process that he's working on is getting starting to prime the community to sign up for those painting shifts. Questions? Okay. I ran the move 2D that we did last month. And I hope you all saw the stainless springs hanging there in the atrium. Don't they look fab? Yes. Oh my god, they look so good. Yeah. Um, the Becky Wearing Steel, who did the little people photos, um, she's under contract and she'll be delivering at the end of the week. That is next week. And uh, we're going to do the install on Monday, the 27th. Judge Frick is very excited. And Tara Johnson, who does the um, juvenile programs, art therapy programs with, and I don't know if restorative justice is the right language, but uh, is super excited. She said, what a jovial great opportunity. And the next time we install there, they'll be a part of this process. Okay, they're very appreciative. Excellent. All right, and now we get to the meeting. No. We looked at um, the cord running down, and it just did not. So, yeah, the general consensus is it, the light, how it reflects off those angles in the room, is really lovely. So, it, I didn't. I should have taken a picture. It, it didn't look very good. It looks much better. So. I got a picture of somebody standing in the middle of the atrium, and it looks like he had wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great picture. And if you know, and if you notice, the museum staff actually to prevent people from actually going up to them and putting their back on the sculpture to do the wing photo thing, uh, they put little feet on the ground at a distance, and then feet for the person taking the photo. While that's not the intention of the artwork, we know people are going to do it, and so the museum staff is so wicked smart that they're like, let's just. So give people directions so they don't back up into it. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So art on the move three D tonight selection. <gasps> Did everybody get a drill oh. sheets? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, um, who was able to do the jury submissions in advance online? Excellent. Good job. Okay, so these are the ones that were narrowed down to yes, I believe. These were the, the ones that yes. were narrowed down to 1.5 or higher. Okay. So they had a cumulative score of everyone who went in and participated in the process. What's the what's the top? What's the top three? Yes, no, and yes, no, and maybe uh, three is the highest. Okay. And then. Okay. So these are guesses and maybe some names. Yes. Cool. All right, uh, and that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. But oh wait, a couple I do of details a, first. Yeah, I have a question. We normally do these art on moves. We at least them for a year and it's all around now. The question has come up whether we should keep whether we should make a contract for two years um, instead because it's. It's complicated. It's labor intensive and it's and labor intensive. And does anybody have any feelings about this? Or Angela, do you want to describe more? Well, so this year, because of the marble we have in St. Stephen's, we will be having to get the crane again. So, you know, there's positives and negatives that come with that. I can tell you that of the 18 that you're going to be looking at, the 39 that you juried, there's one specifically to probably that it'll be good that we have. Uh, the rest of them, people power and a forklift, will be able to manage. Some of the feedback we've received in the past uh, is that by the time uh, they're installed and folks get down to the various locations to see them, they're gone. So there is that. That would give it kind of two seasons to be seen. Um, at the same time, you know, it's nice to have variety. And in addition, because we installed the six plinths along uh, 4th Street leading up from Main to the firehouse, LDDA has committed to match us on our budget. So we can, because of the 2D stuff, we still have 5,000 left. So 
five pieces of artwork for one year or ten thousand dollars for two years and LDDA will do up to six depending on what you decide to do. So we could install them for two years and do upwards of 11 today for one year for two years. Decision's up to you. We could do 11 for one year or 11 for two years. Correct. I would rather it be all of them for one year or all of them for two years. Yeah. Um, you know, we was it? I I my mind is failing. Was it Sorry. last year that we that we skipped? So we did and we did it recently. We did a two year Correct. stint, yeah. and that was so it was two years ago that we installed the ones that we're now going to uninstall. Exactly. Okay. Doesn't feel like two years. Are we talking to Bear for two years? No, no Bear. Bear is also. Oh, and you can also buy these. Yesterday. Yeah, we can. So you have a number of questions, but um, also, uh, let me back up just a minute. Um, before we deinstall them and before we have this conversation going further and take, and pay to take things out, I will contact the artists and ask them if they are interested in selling. And if they are, then they can bring back their best price and I will bring back to you. So there's that as well. Danielle, you have a question? Yes, my only, my only thought or concern is just moving forward with these is with any of these potentially even the artist is going to come back and say that they can't keep it because my personal favorite piece this past year was the piece that was outside of Rosalie's that the artist didn't even keep it up for I think it was just a year if not so that would be my only concern with moving forward I don't like moving forward for two years I think it's like great but I just would need to have half of these numbers when I was decide tonight and then we may disappear within a year. Because last year, we, two years ago, we signed them up for one year, and last year we called people up and said, "Okay, would you let us keep it for a year?" Okay, that she was like, just like, I was just like, I was like, so it was just one of those. I just hate to make this in right now, and then yeah, okay, cool. that's why we're asking now is because yeah. we will contractually obligate them to two years rather than perfect. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Do you have a question? I think that's my question too. Um, I just feel like we're kind of left with this piecemeal thing now. Cause so, well, it's also because they see these plazas under renovation or so, some things got moved around in addition to the one where we're coming together for peace on this called the Main Street. Anyway, if we're contractually yeah. obligated for two years, I think that'd be a good idea. My other question is going forward is are these in number order that are these in the order of preference? Or no, I don't do I don't give you that. Come on, you know me well enough to say I shuffle it up, baby. Okay, nope. Shuff, these are in shuffle order. Those are all shuffled up, but they're the way that we are gonna look at them when we jury them. All right, yes. All right, thank you. Yep. All right. Can I have a question? I had a comment. Susan? Um I, I was just so actually looking at the um the the I mean, very few, right? When we talk about hearing about that, we get very, we don't get a lot of comments. Most of them are social media. Sometimes it's to the LDDA to me, third person. But yeah, public, oh, I love that piece. Just, you know, where did they go? Those kind of things. There's been more than one and less than six. So somewhere in there. Also, for like in downtown St. Stephen's Plaza, you see them if you go down there, and most people go down there in the summer. Right. So you have three quarters of the year that people are not, not there as often. And so it, like so if somebody goes in the summer at an art walk and says, oh, I love this piece. And then the next time they go, it's gone. And it's something else. So, so two years. I think okay, so yeah, it's actually, it's actually, right? I, I strongly believe it should be one year. And it's for that reason. It creates the excitement. People do come out every summer to see something new that's been installed. And I think that that was the idea of the art is to create people coming to places and making them exciting. I do think maybe we we need to talk more about, hey, this is only here kind of for a year, and, and maybe publicize it that way. But I like the idea of the excitement coming in every year. I like us interacting with different artists on a yearly basis, getting more to our you know into our collection. Um, I think it gets stale. I think people drive past it and get bored. And the excitement about them 
installation in the uh, first park walk in July. And I know we're doing it earlier now, but the first park walk in July, we came to see it for the first time. That's my opinion. And then the second group of people, though, also my opinion. <laughs> How do I feel about that? I agree with you on the opinion in that way. Conclusions you get from Do we have uh, uh, something down there uh, next to each? Art installation, like a QR code uh, or anything like that. We did I ask you about that last time that maybe could show uh, what was there. You know, if you have a QR code, you said show previous installations so that they go, oh, I see. I have to get down here and actually look at it. But wasn't that cool when they had this one on and they could look at the pictures of it and then uh, and then see that, oh, get a little word from us saying, Hey, you know these gonna last for a year. Then that seems to get that generation out there. We'll go. Yeah. It's all this right here. You know, they all want to have that that uh, that immediate gratification of, of seeing what was made there. To get that information because that's what they are at that moment. And then uh, then you you don't spend a lot of time having to to, to re-educate them and get down there and see what they want. Yeah. We don't have anything like that in place now, but. If Nice to be able to say on the QR code, we have this piece through April of XYZ. More education, so yeah. I think that that is a big piece that we need to work on. Yes. And then if people did want to buy it, if we got enough people that said, oh, we love this, we're sorry it's going away. Yeah. Then we get the public to look. Exactly. So maybe when our program assistant comes on board which the job description is out right now oh. <laughs> that is absolutely one of the that idea of the digital twin right this idea of having your collection very um, forward facing for the public both in person and in this digital realm is absolutely one of the priorities for the program assistant because we don't have enough online of anything from the communications to the social, to the tours, um, which Miley, you were doing a wonderful job. I'm not describing the work that you were doing right now, obviously. Um, but it is, it's, it's a need and it's a regular need. So yes, all very valid and good points. My, my one comment I would say, Teresa, is maybe then in the future, if we do continue to do one year, we put a weight restriction on some of these artists. Absolutely. I think so, like, you can definitely do that. And it could be like one year, there's no weight restriction next year like 200 pounds y'all because um you know 1200 pound marbles are they're beautiful and it's 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 a big lift literally i think that's valid but we can control that piece yeah we can control that piece absolutely yep good and discussion i have one other question so um when do those when do new pieces get installed at the same time we take the other ones out because and that's why i moved it up is in working with the public administrators around the town and looking at where when their programs have things moving it's kind of a circuit right uh, you kind of have the same people with different artworks applying to all of these art on loan so the reason that i moved it to where and when it is is number one because it's before the first art walk and um somewhere on the streets downtown but secondly, it fits itself nicely when some of the things are coming out of other communities and could be available for us. And that is a ballpark? April. In April. Yep, we're already scheduled with the contractor. We've got the crane already figured out and it was one of the requirements for this application is can you be available, is this artwork available for installation within our window? Because it's more financially responsible to get all of the equipment and the contractors at all the same time for putting out and taking them. All right, so what location is where it's good question. If we if we hold up eleven, there's St. Stephen's, there's down Fourth Street, and you said there were six that up one before, but there's six in through seven fourth street. And also, there are other places around town that we use that we used to have artwork that we haven't recently because we were uh, we had short fundage. But one of them is uh, Kensington Park, which is right along Third Street. Uh, we'd like to put something there this year. There's the Recycle Center, and if we have the right piece, we could put something there. And the 
is there task force designs and there's your museum yeah. so these are open possibilities for any pieces Listen here, um, piece over by Burlington School, Long Sunset, we are in the park. I do not I don't, it's, it's not on our list, yeah, but I that's not to say it isn't. That might have been, if it was in front of a business, they might have put something there. Do we have enough money to actually do both of these things, which is to put 11 this year and 11 next year and have them staggering? Like, so would you have new pieces but they also last two years? So again, it's not about not being able to have the amount of money. It's the way that our charter is written. We are limited and we are looking to make that change this year. So yes, of course, it's not the amount of funds. It's that we are limited to 70, only spending $7,500 a year on temporary artworks. And with the help of the LDDA, we have the bigger budgets, right? Because we can't, we can't break our charter that way until we fix our charter. Okay. Yeah. So the chart. So where, what is the point of the change of the charter? Is it? Council There's a number of changes, and I think that that's a good topic for another time. All right, that's all right. All right. Okay, but if it, it's an involved thing because it's our charter in the in the city, okay, we have to go through the city to get a change, and okay. it's easier to change a bunch of stuff than it is to change one thing at a time. Yes. Yeah. So that's a discussion for another time. All right, thank you. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to agree with Patricia here because. Just thinking about the, the sculptures being on display for two years, it, 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 it's, it, it, it's not dynamic. It isn't exciting. You know, it, that's, I agree. And, and uh, having it change every year, having that interest, and supporting more artists with that, um, I think that that is a good thing. Okay, so. Right now, we are, hold on, I was going to say, right now, we do it every year, all right? Betty, you have something to say. Oh, I just wanted to know, are those flints already installed on the side? Yes. Are yes. Those flints on the side? The flints on the tree are already there. Uh, they're higher than two, whatever 88 is, uh, 28 inches tall by four by four. That was budgeted. That was budgeted and executed last year, and they um, we uh, put some hardware uh, into strategic places specifically to prevent as much as possible drilling into them over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, for right. So, and, and that also begs the question when we talk about locations. Obviously, the pieces that we're looking at. And the location that's why I task the task force or group has to get together because some of these pieces won't fit on some plans, right? Okay, but most of them. So, does anybody this is not an official vote? Does, does anybody want to move that we go to two years, or are we all pretty much in agreement that we should sit, stay at one year? Can I have some discussion about that? I, I, I'm in favor of keeping it. Uh, I just feel like for all the reasons that were said, and since it is representative of our public places, I don't think he keeps putting us out there if we go to two years. It's like, well, what are we going to do? Our public place is doing new stuff, you know. Um, it's true that when we, just, when we just did a two-year stint, Right. It was sort of coming out of COVID, so there was a lot of there wasn't as much traffic downtown as there historically has been. And we got terrible. We didn't get any applications for the program. Yeah, and yeah, like and yeah. yeah, it was it was, and I think that there was something about the timing of when we were asking for the application, so I fixed that. And yeah, I don't I don't know what else because we did the same amount of marketing and all yeah. those things. So that was also one of the catalysts for okay. Okay. And, okay. okay. So um, can I, I this is an official motion, but can I see show of hands the people that want to keep it at one year? All right, so I think that that is 
Great. That's fine then. Um, there's a, I have a note here that says discussion of whether we will or will not allow an artist to have more than one piece of art installed per year. So you have multiple artists on your final list. Every artist was allowed to submit three pieces. You have multiple artists with multiple pieces on your list. Um, we have not ever included or excluded anyone for any reason, but just before, just to make sure that we're not mixing our metaphors like the last time, I just need it epically clear. Is it one artist, one piece, or one artist as many pieces as voted in? I say one artist, one piece, because especially if we're talking about me, there are other artists who do this every year and trying to be more artists. It's not, I, I personally don't think it's fair for an artist to have two different pieces if we're all choosing to have them. Even if we put them in different locations, I tend to agree. Yeah. That we want to get the most diversity and the most. That means so, emotion. how many people, how many artists on our list have? Multiple pieces. Not how many multiple pieces. How many artists? Not going to tell you. So the question is that you know, we did the call to artists where they could do a few pieces. And I respectfully disagree, and here's why. I think it's based on the piece, and artists can do diverse pieces and be able to show those. And so we're able to choose the piece. We're not really looking for artists. So that would be the difference with that. Where with the shot art boxes. Kind of the reason we did it where we've been doing it for the second year is just, it kind of ended up the same thing. So we ended up with a lot of the same art, a lot of the same shop art boxes that look the same. I think an artist can create a sculpture or a marble and be the same artist when it's based on what the art is. So well, that's my uh, opinion. The way I think that we would do it is anybody can submit like, up to three pieces and then we'll vote. And then if we have somebody that has that we've agreed with all three pieces, then we need to decide, are we only going to allow one? And which one would we like best? And ask them to submit the other next year. Or are we going to allow like three pieces from the same person since our funds are sort of limited? I think we base it on the piece and ask that opinion. It's based on the art, not the artist. Unless we change our call to them and said, you can only do one. That would be my, what I would do. Ask them to do three that potentially be like three very different pieces of art that they chose. Do you have a mission statement for our funding? A mission statement for the program? Like a, a focus on is it more reaching more artists or the providing them to the first of public art more appropriately because they want to use that? That is our, our mission statement. That's what's on the website. Every year since 20, 2005, Art Public Places has exhibited between three and ten works of art by Colorado artists in various locations throughout the city as part of Art on the Move. Each artist receives a thousand dollar stipend for their work, and Longmont residents, visitors in Long of Longmont get to enjoy fresh artworks each year. Oof, that needs to be done. Our artists interested in participating in Art on the Move loan program should keep an eye out for artists call for entry in 2020. So no, right? That's that's. There's no mission per se. Nothing is limited in that. Okay. And to Teresa's point exactly, the artists were basically an RFP. Put your proposal forward of what you want displayed. Not your qualifications. Just I'm proposing this, that, and that. We've never limited it one way or the other. So yeah, it's it's completely up to you. It's your decision. Maybe we can work with that. Maybe we can talk about this before next year. Just because it's already gone out past that, we already have everything right here in place. Yep. But maybe next year we will discuss this before making a decision and put it out there. It's like we really want, like, I personally just don't think it's fair that one artist, no matter how diverse their work is, that they get they can make two to three thousand dollars and then the other artists are completely just like um, out of luck, you know? And it's a kind of unfortunate that they don't even get looked at just because somebody is a little bit more, I think, I don't know, superior to them to some degree, you know? So I don't know, maybe we just let it go this this year, but then figure it out and just vote as is, and then 
then the next year, we truly, you know, reanalyze this and see what's fair. Because I think that if you're gonna, we're gonna limit one artist to not being able to do one every year for our for shock boxes or one artist for shock boxes, why would we not do the same all the way across the board with other for artists? But I think that's a fair statement to discuss it for the next piece yeah. and put it out that yeah. way. You could ask them to pull up more here and give us more time to kind of develop what the parameters would be. I would agree. Totally. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and vote. I will say to your point, Melanie, our, our public places mission is to provide, manage, and promote a diverse and ongoing collection of public art for the enjoyment of citizens of Longmont. So as you look at these artworks, and I can't remember said, uh, you said that sometimes they're same, sometimes artists work with very different. If we're choosing a lot of the same look and feel of the artwork, then that's probably not our public places mission focus, right? So we can use that that solely and alone as our guiding post, right? Should we vote? Let's vote. Okay. Do we wait until you see how fine it is? Okay, so just oh yes. Um, so we're we're not changing or we're changing. Do we need a vote on this? So we're just leaving everything the same. We're voting on the ones that we like and we're voting down on that. Okay. Next year, we'll be voting at this point. And do we need a task force? Yes, we do need a task force for people to choose locations. Um, does anybody want to be in that task force to say this piece goes here, this piece goes there? We probably can do it digitally. Yeah, and probably digitally. And then we could have then we could have more than like two people. We could have a bunch of people. Yep, it'll just have to be an open meeting, but that's fine. Yep. So, I said, raise your hands again. Danielle, Nettie, Melanie, Teresa, Wall. Great. Super duper. All right. Okay, now. Now. Now, I went to the now. Okay, so when and if you entered your portal, it would have looked something like this. Um, I did get a little tiny bit of feedback of like a worksheet of what to do now once you've entered the situation and just quickly along the top it says select your score view preference. Um, when you're going through you can choose slideshow scorecard where it shows you the slides and then brings up your show card. Today we're going to go through the preview, we're going to look at everything. We're going to discuss out loud as you look at these artworks, and then we're going, you're going to use your handy dandy scorecard, and you're gonna make notes in the column that says round one, round two, so you'll make notes of which ones you love and you're fighting for. We're gonna do a process of elimination. So in round one, you are getting six, yes, six yeses. You get two maybes and 10 no's. And when I say six yes, only six yeses, that's up to six. Um, the, the way that the you know numbers work out, it just helps us eliminate these, right? One at a time. So if there's something that you love and everybody else doesn't, it's gonna fall off and you'll get to then reallocate your yes to something else. Does that make sense? Um, okay. Oh, is this just at this point is it just our own subjective thing or do we discuss them we're going to use the preview slideshow we're going to look at all of them we're going to discuss all of them and you're going to start making your notes knowing that round one that column that says round one is for you to put your notes in and in this round in this round alone you have six yeses two maybes and the rest of them up to Six yeses. Okay. Anybody have any questions? Yeah. Are we still? Are we doing our usual thing? If you can't say something negative, it's only if you like. It. Always. If you have a concern that if you you do what Angela does, what would risk management say? <laughs> right. Like because as we all know, all of this gets to go to risk management and review before I go on the contract. Right. Um, so, so yes, if there is a concern of, of anything, um, but other than that, 
All positives, please. If there's something you hate, you can just keep it to yourself. All right. Any other questions? Yes. Um, so, yeah, I think, can we pause our filming now? Because these don't go, we don't go under contract. We need to go under contract. Okay. Um, Miley is going to read our some uh, little bits of the statements that are specific to artworks. And we'll try and keep it to like two to three minutes each, but I think we, should, we have 18, so we should be in good shape. All right, ready? Oh, you said you have to choose what you want to see first. I'm going to see it. Oh, no, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, this is not what you were seeing. Do I need to do it? No, it's, 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 it's you click on the button. No, it's not where the way it works. I can't click on both. Like, you see the app? Yeah, that's not. So then, no, it's this new, it's this new system. You have to choose, so you have to choose. There you go. Okay. All right. No, this is called a brush blue. I explore movement and interaction with my sculpture. Wait, no. can we see the ones that we all got? I know, but that's what I'm asking. What's next on the agenda? Because I just this, need a minute. So next on the agenda, hold on, where page is that? Um, is um, the, the okay. administer up, administrator update. This is what I want you to do. We'll look at this in just a minute after Miley makes it pretty. Okay? <laughs> okay. So, Miley, what I want you to do is. You went through yes. this properly, oh, correct? So if you will go through this slideshow scorecard, yeah. go in, vote yes on all of the ones that will be included, right? And you know which ones those are because yours matches mine, right? X's are no. Yes, please. Okay. okay. Awesome. Well, okay. So quick thumbs up, thumbs down, middle of the road. Better than last time. Thumbs up. Yes. Oh, yes. Better than last time. Oh, last, time last year or the 2B one? The 2B. Obviously. I'm going to give myself a pat on the back for a little bit. It still needs improvement, right? Like, yeah, it's great. But we're getting there? Yeah. 2D wasn't that bad. I think it's great. I, I, I think you did great. We're getting there. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to no, say it's great, it. but we're getting there. Um, oh, God. Anyway, we'll just keep going. Nope, you're fine. Uh, spoke phase two. Uh, foxes is painted, is clear coated. Easement is done with the city attorney's office. Still needs to go to council for approval, but we're on the ask for forgiveness front, so it'll be fine. <laughs> and, um, and animation is underway. The QR code is there. I did put a sign up that says animation coming. If you go and click on the QR code, it doesn't send you anywhere right now, but it's looking really good. Have not purchased the service agreement yet, but we have the agreement with the artist to give us the two, or I'm sorry, one year time frame where he pays for it, and then we figure out where that interactive, us absorbing the animation cost happens. Um, so if you have an opportunity to go through that breezeway and see the fox and see the roses, it looks It's going to be good, and it, it's going to be top of the town. So um, we'll want to start working with, uh, after we get it all legally, legally finished up and the animation's underway, we'll want to start talking about dedication days and whomever is excited about being a dedication party person. Uh, let me know. Any questions about boxes and roses? That looks really great. Um, great. Um, maintenance project update. This is a really huge one. So um, the Unity project out at Kensington, our mural with the large woman mosaic that Mario Echevarria has been doing 
um, the we fix the bottom where the mower continues to run into it. Last fall, we investigated getting a concrete bumper put around it, and the cost was astronomical, number one, for the amount of concrete that we were doing. And number two, it wasn't able to abut the piece exactly. So um, because it wasn't able to abut the piece, uh, it didn't make sense because there was still gonna be growth and things happening within it. So it wasn't a good solution. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we have been, have been working on a solution and, sorry, since I don't have my email up, here we go. Um, grow, the Growing Water Smart Leadership Team um, is one that, I just want to read it to you because it makes it easier. Here we go. Um, is an initiative with the City of Longmont and is implementing strategic integrated water land use planning to support community and regional water resiliency. I met with their leadership group as well as community neighborhood resources department and um, serendipitously, they are looking to remove turf and sprinklers at Kensington and I said, hey, what about our, our around our art piece so we don't have mowers hope branding into it and sprinklers going off and they're super excited. So they are applying for a grant from the state to remove around 3,000 square feet of grass turf irrigation systems and updates to the space and put in a native water-wise plants and hardscapes, a demonstration garden around the piece. They'll be working with partners in Northern Water and Denver Botanic Gardens to design the water-wise garden that complements the community project and engage the Kensington Park community around with the process. Uh, community awesome. neighborhood resources is super jazz, Mario's. So we don't need a vote here because there's no money coming from us, just to support. And um, I don't know if we will actually have any say into what this demonstration garden will look like, but it's the reason that the grant application is so strong is because it's this brilliant intersection of parks and public art and water-wise and community, like it hits all of the boxes. Uh, they anticipate if we can continue projects like this, that we'll be getting the money from the state for this annually for years and years to come. So um, again, just looking for support from you all, saying go forth, Angela, unless anybody's like, no, don't take away turf. This is a great spot because that artwork is angled on a corner. Yes. So, 3,000 square feet. That's a lot. But that's nice that people won't be able to, like, they could trump up to if they really wanted to and pick stuff off, which is a problem we had. But uh, no, I think that's great. Great. Right. And I, we can anticipate these kinds of things in the future, which is really great. So, perhaps, perhaps you said this, but does this interact at all with the possible memorial, which is right near there? So there is not a memorial at this time. Okay. Um, that is one of the reasons that the Community Neighborhood Resources Department was brought in. Harold, city manager, has been working very closely with the family, um, talking about the differences between memorials and celebrating life, um, talking about ways to get that community involved, and at the same time, community actually is a memorial. So, uh, Growing a bunch of memorial artworks in Kensington is maybe not the direction that the community really wants to go. I do think that we can anticipate a neighborhood improvement project from Kensington at the same time, um, potentially a memorial bench through the memorial bench project through the parks might be more appropriate. And I think that that's the way the family of the gentleman, the young gentleman, would like to go. Um, but yes, it absolutely was brought up. And uh, it's right in there, especially for doing 3,000 square feet, that, you know, it's just right in that area. It's in the meeting. But yes. Yes. So I, th I think that um, it goes back to the, the absolutely to the family. Yeah, that's true. But on the other side, it's us with this and fourth floor. Yeah, that's true. Okay. All right. That sounds good. No, it sounds good. I think I. I just want to make sure that's fine. Yeah. Oh, it's 
that's sure. being talked about with people it needs to be talked about other than us at the tippy tippy top. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'm going to interject here. We have a couple more things and then we need to do this. Quick. Um, it's just, it's like 10 after 8. We just need a motion to extend the meeting. Our end time is supposed to be 8, so we just need a motion to extend until we're done. It shouldn't okay. be that much longer. Should we extend the meeting? Second? Anybody? Second. Okay. All in favor? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Back to you. Okay. Um, okay. Um, See you. I'm just going to send you the one minute video. The commissioner application is open. Uh, the city put together a one minute video on YouTube about diversifying um, in the city clerk's office, and the city manager's office, and city council's uh, desire to diversify our boards and how we are trying to do that. So I will send that to you directly. Um, I wish I could tell you when the closing date is, but it's open for at least a month. Anybody has any questions about joining our board? I think we have a number of seats, and if your term is up, you'll also be getting an email from me. Any questions? Um, in the same breath, the program assistant job is open. Yes. Yes. So, uh, if anybody wants to receive that and send it to people you know, let me. Questions about that? Okay. Um, unfortunately, I. Have the um, I, I, will, I need to tell you that um, Kim Manage, the director of the museum, will be leaving um, at the end of this month. So March thirty first is her last day. In the interim, Eric Mason, for the fourth time, fourth time, will be the interim director of the Longmont Museum. The expansion is underway; is continuing. We do not anticipate any sort of slowing whatsoever. And furthermore, if you're interested in seeing what city council's direction is going to be based upon the community poll that went out, that will be Tuesday night, jazz hands, at 7 p.m. So watch city council to determine which way they're going to go with ballot measures and such. Uh, Kim will be becoming the director of the gardens at Spring Creek in Fort Collins, which she can walk to work. So we're very excited for her. That's what I'm sure. <laughs> Everything is wonderful. I'm sure that Eric will be joining us. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. The contacts that I'll take. I will be sending you a contact sheet um, to update your email, phone number, and mailing address. And there's also a little check mark on there um, saying that you have and you know about open meetings laws and um, that you will abide by them. And also, if you are interested in sharing your contact information with other commissioners, so you allow me to share your contact information, it's a yes or no box. But again, remember, if you're emailing each other one-on-one, -on -one, that's totally fine. If you're talking about something that's not marked public places, totally fine. If you start emailing a group, that's a problem. So make sure that you are abiding by those rules. Okay, any questions about that? Yes. Yes. So if you're emailing to a group of people, about our public places stuff, that's okay. No, that is a meeting. Oh, I see. I see. I see. You to Susan Horowitz asking if you can meet and if you have ideas about that is a one to one conversation, that's a conversation. You copy me, that's three. Any more than that, that is a meeting. Okay. And it's against the law. So you don't do that. Any um, it's, um, it's any three commissioner, any three commissioners. Oh, but yeah. The email that you would be in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Legally be blue. Every time I email all of you, it's always blind CC. Because then when you communicate back to me, that is a one on one conversation. And I keep all of those emails via city retention policy. And if there was an open meeting or open records request, I would hand those over. Okay. It's just a transparency law thing. Um, okay. Um, and if you don't know um, ethics, Code of Ethics is a really big conversation right now within Alma, so that's why we're just keeping it all up. Um, community poll, I said that. Yes. We're done. New that's business. it. New business. Only to show what's included. Okay. Okay.